50-year-old California resident Sue Nelson got the shock of her life a few years ago when she went in for a diagnostic exam. I was first diagnosed with lung cancer almost 14 years ago. I was 36 years old and I went in for routine chest x-ray to look at possible arthritis and in doing so they found a small lump uh, tumor in my right lung. I was not a smoker, I lived a very, very healthy lifestyle, very physically active, pretty much, of a, pretty much a health nut. Four days later, she was in surgery. Doctors removed the cancer and a portion of her lung. Then, four and a half years later, more bad news. At that point is when they actually discovered that the cancer had not only returned in the lung that they had removed most of it surgically, but also it had uh, metastasized to the um, left lung as well. Sue had some tough choices to make about her cancer treatment. Because her cancer had spread, doctors told Sue her best option was to join a clinical trial, an experimental treatment approach that compares promising new discoveries with accepted standard therapies. We first have hypotheses about why or how something will work and then that can be tested in computer models or in test tubes. But eventually we have to try that in human beings and find out if it really is an advancement. Susan Brown is the president of the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation, which funds cancer research projects, including clinical trials. We and many others look for ways to get more people involved in clinical trials. Most of the modern breakthroughs in cancer treatment came out of the clinical trials, which are often divided into three phases. A phase one trial usually involves up to 30 patients. Phase two, as many as 100. In phase three, new treatments may be tested on thousands of patients. And then there's a large number of doctors. I mean, this, these groups that participate with clinical trials, from my point of view, that's uh, la creme de la creme. That's the best of the best. Sue was watching a television news story about a local clinical trial focused on the kind of cancer she was battling. She decided to join, and the results have been remarkable. For me, after one week of taking this particular drug, um, I noticed immediate changes. Um, my husband and I noticed that my lung cancer symptoms basically stopped. Some of the tumors have now diminished up to 90%. Sue's quick response to the treatment is not a typical one. Even ones that result in a similar positive outcomes can often take significantly longer. But she's grateful for the results and the improvement in her quality of life. It has just helped me not only with providing me some time in my life, but it's helped give me a lot of comfort. My symptoms, I just feel so much better. Researchers hope that as the number of clinical trial volunteers increases, more new discoveries to fight disease will follow.